Dear viewers, welcome to Northsat Satellite Channel in Tel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, humility is a source of peace in the world and in the church. Jordanians celebrate the 78th anniversary of the kingdom's independence. Cardinal Pizzabella concluded a pastoral visit to Madaba Governorate. The World Conference of Christian Youth concludes its session with a mass at the Good Shepherd Church. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis held his general meeting with the faithful in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. He began his weekly teaching by focusing on the virtue of humility, which is the foundation of Christian life and the greatest antidote to pride and arrogance. His Holiness explained that humility brings everything back to its proper perspective, stating, we are marvelous creatures but limited, with strengths and weaknesses. He referred to the biblical reminder that from dust we came, and to dust we shall return. The Holy Father emphasized that to free ourselves from pride, we need only to contemplate the starry heavens to find the proper measure. He elaborated further, stating that humility is a source of peace in the world and in the church, as it serves us from evil and danger of becoming complicit partners with it. He concluded by highlighting the example of Jesus and Mary, whom God gave us for our salvation and happiness, emphasizing their humility. On the occasion of Independence Day, coinciding with the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty King Abdullah II's assuming his constitutional powers, His Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of Jerusalem and all of Palestine, congratulated His Majesty King Abdullah II and the Jordanian family on this auspicious occasion. He stated from the Holy City of Jerusalem, we will not forget His Majesty's effort to ensure the continuity of Christian presence and to support the issue of Christians in the Holy Land, their endowments and properties. His Beatitude also commended the Jordanian's army aid to the displaced persons at the St. Porphyrius Orthodox Church in Gaza. He praised His Majesty's relentless efforts to achieve justice and peace in the region. The people of Madaba Governorate, along with priests and nuns, welcomed His Eminence Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, during his pastoral visit to Madaba, which lasted several days. His visit included a tour of various institutions in the Governorate, such as the Patriarchate School, Kindergarten, and House of Encounter for people with special needs, as well as the Mercy Sisters Covent. He presided over the graduation ceremony of high school students at the Patriarchate Secondary School in Madaba and visited the Patriarchate Schools, Kindergarten, and the Monastery of Monks and Nuns in Ma'in. He administered the Sacraments of Confirmation and Communion to 43 students at the Church of the Holy Spirit. He also visited the parish of John the Baptist in Madaba and met with parish activities. His tour extended to the areas of Moqar and Mount Nebo, followed by a visit to the American University where he was received by the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Engineer Azam Shwehat, member of the Board, University President and Deans of Faculties. On the occasion of Independence Day, the Orthodox Church held the Great Doxology Prayer to celebrate the 78th Independence Day and the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty King Abdullah II's ascension to the throne. After the liturgy led by His Grace Bishop Christophorus, the Orthodox Bishop of Jordan at the Church of the Ascension in Khalda, prayers were offered to God to protect Jordan, its land, leadership, government, and people. His Grace mentioned on this occasion, the anniversary of independence is repeated while we enjoy the blessing of stability and security, blessings that may only be truly appreciated by those who have lost them. He also expressed gratitude for His Majesty's efforts and the support of the Jordanian government for Palestine and its Christian and Islamic holy sites. The service was attended by a congregation of priests, deacons, as well as officers from the Jordanian Army Forces, public security, and various official and public figures amidst the presence of believers and parishioners. Following the Mass, everyone gathered in the church hall where musical and artistic performances were presented by the military music band to commemorate this auspicious occasion. The 17th World Conference of Christian Students Youth, hosted by the General Secretariat of Christian Youth in Jordan, concluded its proceedings with a divine liturgy presided over by His Beatitude Patriarch Fuad Atwal at the Good Shepherd Church, the center of Our Lady of Peace. Participants expressed their deep gratitude and appreciation for the warm reception, hospitality and organization describing the conference as one of the most successful worldwide. They also extended congratulations to the people and the leadership of Jordan on this occasion for their Independence Day, wishing for its continued security and stability. The attendees also thanked the supporting entities for their contributions to the success of the conference, which truly honored the reputation of Jordan's youth.
At the conclusion, shields were presented to participating and supporting entities. This year's conference themed Let Your Light Shine saw the participation of around 100 individuals representing 30 Arab and friendly countries. Throughout its session, the conference addressed several topics, including religious coexistence, peace, justice and education, and media's impact on social culture, as well as environmental issues and smart agriculture. The parish of the Nazareth Church in Swafia, Amman, celebrated the end of the Marian month with a mass. The liturgy was presided over by Bishop Hanna Gulf, the Latin Bishop of Syria, assisted by Father Hanna Kildani, the pastor of the church, along with several priests, deacons, monks, nuns, and the presence of a large congregation of believers. The mass began with a recitation of the rosary in honor of the Virgin Mary. During his sermon, Bishop Gulf spoke about the importance of the Mother of God to all believers and her love and care for all followers of the message of Christ. Following the Mass, the worshippers participated in a festive gathering in the church courtyard. The program Ain Al Mashriq, presented by Father Nabil Haddad on Nursat TV, hosted the researcher, journalist, and historian Dr. George Tarif to discuss Jordan's independence and the achievements made in the country over more than a hundred years. They also discussed the role of the Hashemites in defending Jerusalem and the Hashemite guardianship over the Islamic and Christian holy sites. The program highlighted Jordan's unique Islamic Christian harmony and coexistence, emphasizing the shared living among its people. This harmony is a statement to the inclusive and tolerant nature of Jordanian society. A divine liturgy was held at the Royal Catholic Church of the Melkites in the Governorate of Jarash, north of the kingdom. After a long absence of prayers in the same church due to its migration of the residents of the Governorate from the parishioners, the liturgy was presided over by Father Yen al Awabdeh, the priest of the parish of Mafraq and Jarash, in the presence of Mr. Fuad Haddad Abu Amir, the head of the Haddad family, and the scouts and guards of the Catholic Melkite Archdiocese of Umm Summa. Prayers and supplications were offered for the return of the parishioners as they were before. Efforts will be made to restore the parish to Jarash, knowing that the church, built in 1925, is one of the oldest churches in the kingdom. Her Highness Princess Sumeya bint al-Hassan sponsored the graduation ceremony of the 76th batch of students from Tafila Technical University in both scientific and literary branches, as well as the British International Program. This ceremony was attended by His Grace Bishop Hanna Glov, the Latin Bishop of Syria, along with several priests, nuns, parents and college guests. The celebration including artistic and patriotic performances, as well as speeches by the graduating students in Arabic, English and French, renewing their commitment to be a source of pride for their school and families. In his speech, the college's general manager, Father Rashid Mistrih, expressed gratitude to Princess Sumeya for her patronages and the event and pride of the graduates, wishing them a bright future filled with knowledge and achievements. During his meeting with the Jordanian ambassador to Palestine, Isam al Abdur, the Palestinian minister of Jerusalem affairs, Ashraf al Awar, briefed him on the Israeli violations against the Palestinian citizens and the Islamic and Christian sanctities in occupied Jerusalem. The minister expressed his gratitude and appreciation for Jordan's prominent stance in protecting these sanctities, holy institutions, and the humanitarian aid provided by the kingdom to the people of Jerusalem. He emphasized that Jordan is doing everything it can to protect the sanctities in Jerusalem, in line with its Hashemite custodianship over them. Here, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our news. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, humility is a source of peace in the world and in the church. Jordanians celebrate the 78th anniversary of the kingdom's independence. Cardinal Pizzabella concluded a pastoral visit to Madaba Governorate. The World Conference of Christian Youth concludes its session with a mass at the Good Shepherd Church. For more details, please visit our website, nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good time. See you again soon.